Hi, let's talk about how to use the Rivulis hydraulic tool. The first thing we need to do when starting a new project, after we uh, successfully created a username and a, an account, the first thing we need to do when starting a new project is to uh, go over to the project section of the hydraulic tool and later on we will go also in the settings menu. So first click on new in order to create a new project. Give this new project a name, let's say test. Fill the information regarding uh, the designer, company, phone. Uh, this is optional information that you can fill in. Select the region that you are from. And then go to these three fields and select the type of pipes that you will be using for your project. First, select the type of lateral that you want to use. You can either uh, choose an integrated lateral, such as a drip tape or a drip line. Or you can go for an online uh, type of lateral, such as a uh, lateral with an online emitter, a sprayer, a sprinkler, a fogger, and so on. For our example, we will be using a integrated one, more precisely a drip tape and a T-tape uh, product. You can select exactly uh, if you know exactly what diameter of T-tape you want to use or what wall thickness, or you can leave the field as it is with all so that the software will consider all options of T-tape available. We see here that for our project, we will be considering 39 different type of models of T-tape. You can either select one that you know exactly that you are planning to use or leave it as, as, you, as you can see here, where the software will consider more uh, all the options of T-tape available. Next, go and select the type of submain that you want to use. As you can see, we have uh, many options out of which we will be using PVC pipe for our example today and choose also the type of uh, main line that you want to use in your project. For our example, we will be using PVC. Select the standard that you are working with. In our case, we will be working with PVC pipes European standard. We see here that we will have 30 options of pipes available for both thumb main and the main line. And after you did all these settings, click OK. Now we see that our new project was created. We see the name of our new project written here. And we can even go to open to see the total uh, list of projects that we have created. We see the project we have created uh, today called test. And we see also other projects created in the past. We can delete them. We can search for them. So this is a way to manage all of your uh, projects. After we uh, actually created this new project, we need to go over to the settings menu and uh, click on regions, select the region that we are in. Be careful, uh, this impacts the number of uh, products that are available. So not all the products are available in all the regions. So in case you are not able to find the product that you are looking for in uh, your region, try looking also in other regions. Maybe you can find it there or uh, write an email to your uh, local Rivoli uh, uh, supplier and we will uh, consider adding new products in case you see something missing. So select your region, select the units of measurements uh, with which you want to work. In our case, we will be working with metric uh, units of measurements, but you can also work with US measurements if you want. So we select metric. This is also a nice tool to convert different type of units of measurements. For example, we can convert uh, one bar to PSI, for example, and we see that one bar is 14.5 PSI. Or we can convert to flow rate, one cubic meter to liters per hour. And this is a nice tool to convert different type of units of measurements. So click on uh, metric if you want to use metric units of measurements. Click on save. And now we are ready to start our uh, irrigation design. 